What's going on everybody? It's Falchion with you once again. And once again, we are here for another unboxing. And today, here on the Borderless Gaming GSA channel, we have the new Xbox wireless headsets. Headset. Singular. Um, we're going to be unboxing this for you today. So, yeah, I can't think of any reason not to just crack into it. Lippy. Oh, and there you go. You guys see that? So here we have the headset. As well as the literature. But we don't need that. And a wire that is... Let me get this out of your, your way. USB A to USB Type C for charging. Right, and yeah, there you go. Right there, you can see the charging port. Um, yeah, these just came out a couple days ago. Unfortunately, I got mine kind of late. I don't know what was up with GameStop, but um, it took them a while to get them in. Uh, for whatever reason, I did have these pre-ordered, um, but for whatever reason, it took them a long time to to uh, get them in. They didn't come in on the release date. So, um, what you're gonna find if, with this cord? It's very short. Boop. Um, it's just a charging cord, though. It does not uh, connect for sound. As far as I know, um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, if you know me, um, I like to take at least a month to to test a product before I review it. And so give me a month to figure out what exactly this does. Um, I'm absolutely sure. I'm fairly sure that all it do does is uh, charges the, the headset. Um, Let's see what it has to say on the back of the box here. Xbox wireless paired directly to your console for high fidelity sound. On the go audio, connect to your mobile devices via Bluetooth 4.2 plus for wireless chat and music. 4.2 plus for wireless chat and music. Um, so where Sony, um, uses a dongle to connect um microsoft uses bluetooth 4.2 to connect to the console 4.2 plus i guess to connect to the console which is not your average um your your average bluetooth so uh and you'll find for instance that things like that means you cannot connect this headset to to uh your PlayStation. Um, uh, so it's for wireless chat and music. Uh, again, you can, this will bind through Bluetooth in a normal way, I guess, to your, like your phone or what have you. Um, crystal clear chat, eliminate background noise with the voice isolation and auto mute. So what this headset does have is, um, especially in the, uh, on the Xbox in the settings area, you can adjust your mic, your, you have, it has a, f let me see. No. Okay. It doesn't, it has a full, uh, EQ equalizer. So you can adjust the sound to try and get it exactly the way you want to get it. Um, you can turn on and off the, the, um, automatic mic mute so that it, if you turn it on and it has levels, you turn it on, it will mute your mic when you stop talking so that it background noises you don't have to worry about. But then when it detects your voice, it unmutes itself. A very cool, cool feature in my opinion. Um, let me see. Crystal clear ch chat. Oh, I, we just read that. Um, customize, your, customize your fit. Flexible, lightweight, and 
glasses friendly. That's important, at least to me, because, man, I've had some headsets that, w while I'm wearing my glasses, they just cause me pain after a while. I guess what you call ear fatigue or what have you. So, kind of traditionally, they have the um, adjustment arms. Uh, the the ear cups are just insanely plush, man. Like, look how much I'm squeezing these, right? That is just crazy. Uh, it, their memory foam, I believe, that's the way they feel to me. Uh, leatherette, um, I know some, a lot of, there's two camps on that. A lot of people like the, um, the fabric ear cups. Um, it's, I guess it helps in wicking away sweat. Uh, people that like the leatherette say that that little bit of sweat that gets on here helps seal the the cup to your head helping in noise cancellation um outside noise cancellation uh, i don't know how true or false that is but sounds good i guess um l and r for left and right uh we talked about the adjustable arms the headband here also has is leatherette with foam inside but i don't think it's the same foam it's a it's a bit firmer um like down here, I can feel hardness, but I don't think that'll touch your head. Hold on, let me try them on for a sec. Oh, wow. Wow, that noise cancellation is real on these. Like, I, it has very passive. Let me grab the mannequin head. It has very passive uh, noise cancellation. No active noise cancellation. Um... It feel it has a nice kind of tight fit. Um, if you saw my Sony unboxing, the uh, unboxing of my Sony Pulse headset that I did recently, I, I got these both around the same time um, because I couldn't find the, the Sonys for a good long time. But um, if you saw that, um, the my Sony's bit loose and it has like the 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 adjustable strap so it's kind of like a double headband and so they feel they fit a lot looser uh, around my my head these fit, fit a bit tighter um i like that uh, we'll have to see again in the review i'll let you guys know how the whole glasses thing works uh let's check out the mic here so as you can see it's unlike the sony pulse it's it is a boom mic um, it doesn't get very close to your mouth. So, I mean, not that that's a problem because as we saw with the Sony's, the, the mic was, uh, up in the ear cup anyway. So that's, that's not really an issue. Um, just pointing it out. Um, the very cool thing about these is the ear cups act as controls. So... Let me go back here first. You have very minimalistic controls on these, right? So the green button here is a power button. It also acts as a pair button if you hold it down for four seconds. Um, there's a mute button here on your mic. Actually, you know what? I could do with these that I couldn't do. Or I probably could have done it. I just didn't do it, I guess. So there you can see the, the headset is on. When you turn them on, the, it makes the same... Uh, sound that your uh, Xbox will make when you turn that on. Um, so you mute the mic and you see that it goes off. The light comes on when it's un when it's not muted. You can see that it folds pretty nicely actually up in there. Um, I'm going to turn these back off. Hopefully. There's a light there. I accidentally put them in charge or pair mode. Okay, it looks like I'm not turning them off. Oh, well. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh, very minimalistic. It's making noise. It wants me to pair it to something. I wish it would stop, honestly. Oh, not only did we stop it, but we turned it off. Uh, I was pressing too long. Like I was saying, very minimalistic controls you have, again, 
your power and pair button, your mic mute button, and that's all the buttons, right? So that's what you do for volume is on the right ear cup, this spins for your volume, right? So that's very cool. Uh, an issue that I have with a lot of headsets, to be honest with you, is they put a bunch of controls on or, or around your the ear cup and you're back there, you're reaching around, fumbling with your hand, trying to figure out what control is what. And sometimes you can do things you don't mean to do or want to do. Um, what you'll find is right here on the right ear cup is the charging port. And then that's it outside of the, the volume dial over here on the left point, uh, left ear cup, of course, is the mic, the mute, the power and pair. And the chat mixer is the left ear cup dial. So let's bring in the mannequin again, third one. Um, again, all plastic construction, kind of like the Sony Pulse, uh, I guess a way, a good way of keeping the price down. So that's, that's that, um, same worry that over time, this plastic may become brittle and break. Um, so, but at a hundred dollars. You know, you, I don't think you're going to find too much better, uh, set of headphones at that price point. Um, honestly, this is minimalistic enough that look, you took the mic away, right? And you could walk around in public like that, right? Listening to your music, uh, talking on your phone. I'm sure you could actually even leave the mic folded up like that, but if you needed to, you know, you could fold it down. Um, again, a lot of features, a lot of this headset's features, you're gonna find in the, either on your phone, if, if you pair it to your phone, or, but mainly what we're talking about here is on the, in the settings, for the headset on your Xbox. Um, I mean, it has things like different presets for game, music, uh, movies. There's a bass boost that is just insane. Um, I know a lot of people have mentioned that they don't like the, the amount of bass that these headsets, this headset produces, but as a person who's, um, even in my car, you know, I, two twelves and, and, uh, all kinds of other things meant for a uh, bassy sound. Um, I like it. Um, footsteps are loud and strong in your, in your ears. Uh, you can really feel it. Um, racing. I, I've been playing, um, uh, uh, ride four. Uh, so motor racing that motorcycle, I really get the, the, the feel of rushing wind going past my ears, not, and not the feel as in physically feeling it, but the, the sound that is produced really makes you feel like, like that's happening. Um, it's again, the minimalist design is cool. A little bit of, uh, accent greens, um, a clean, left ear cup and a branded right ear cup so that when they ask you, you know, what are those, you can show them. Um, here on the ear cups are little dimples in case you need to throw these. They're gonna give you like a, a lot of lift, kind of like a golf ball. No, I'm just playing. Don't, don't, don't throw. Don't throw them. I'm just joking. Um, it's uh, it's actually uh, mimics the top of the Xbox Series X and the top or side, I guess either one of of the uh, One X. The holes and the vent holes in the uh, either of the Xbox Series of 
uh, gaming consoles. So yeah, that's about it outside of uh, just being able to really use them and and uh, review them for you guys. But again, that's going to come in time. Um, I need a little bit of time to actually do that, to actually feel what I feel right now. I could give you like a review, but it would be out of the excitement of like the honeymoon phase, you know what I mean? And I'm liking them, but in time I may find that, hey, these aren't very comfortable with my glasses after all, or, or the top hurts my head after wearing them for a while and I get that fatigue. So I want to give, when I give a review, I like to make sure that I've actually spent a fair amount of time, at least a month, um, sometimes more, as you know. Uh, so what I'll do is we're coming up on the six months with the, my Xbox Series X anyways. So I'm going to, I, what I'll do is I will throw the review of these in with that when I do that review video. And so we'll talk about these along with that and 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 its controller and yeah we'll do uh we'll play it like that but again these are the microsoft wireless headset this is the microsoft wireless headset by microsoft and for your xbox remember this can also pair with your pc as well as your phone and actually an, an important thing is you can actually pair two products to this at the same time so if you're playing your xbox you can pair your phone with it at the same time and be able to say listen to music or take phone calls at the same time um so that is also a really cool feature but uh we'll see where that takes us as well again this is very minimalistic if if you really think about it if you think about what like the Sony pulses came with, they came with the headset, they came with the charging cord and that's where this stops. But then they also came with the dongle and they came with a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. This doesn't even have any place for that. No, no 3.5. So if it's not Bluetooth, I guess it's not working with these. And that may be a put off for some people. Um, and I, I guess I could actually understand that. So, again, uh, we will do a review of these when we do our six-month review of the Xbox Series X. That is coming up in just about a month, so look forward to that. I will be able to have a lot more information, have used this and experienced it um, for you in a very real way, and really be able to give you an honest opinion of what I think about these. So, um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in an, uh, down in the comments below. What I can at least do is answer you anything that you may want to know um, now. And, and I will always be honest with you and let you know that, hey, these are just my initial feelings. Um, if it's not been long enough and uh, let you know to look for more information later. But if like I said, if you have questions, please go ahead and feel free to, to ask them. I'm, I'm happy to help uh, criticisms, whatever. Let me know. It's all it's all good. Uh, this is all about us trading information and trying to make gaming as a whole better. Right. So until next time, this has been Falchion and you know me, I'm Ghost. Two fingers is peace. Later.